So tell me, Jonathan, why do you wish to live? My At first glance, the John Wick universe might seem like a violent and unruly world with assassins roaming around freely. But a closer observation of the movies makes you realize that it is a controlled chaos out there. Every killing, every hit job, and every instance of organized crime is regulated by a higher organization, the High Table, and there is clearly defined hierarchy amongst its members. However, there is some ambiguity regarding the role of one of the crucial High Table members, the mysterious leader of the organization, the Elder. In this video, we will explore the theories around the Elder and try to figure out his real connection with the High Table. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This may be a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Thank you. I accept this offering. Who is the Elder and what is his role in the John Wick universe? The John Wick franchise does well to keep an air of mystery around some key characters and doesn't reveal too much about their origin stories. All that is said about the Elder is that he is the leader of the High Table who functions from a secret location that no one exactly knows. Very few have a faint idea about how to find him, but there is no certainty in this regard as well. We first encounter the Elder in John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum, where John is on the run from the High Table after killing Sentinel on Continental Hotel grounds, thereby breaking one of the fundamental rules of the organization. John Wick realizes that he cannot possibly be on the run forever and decides to come to an agreement with the High Table. There is only one person who can veto the excommunicado status assigned to the assassin, and John seeks out the Elder, the leader of the High Table. However, his location is unknown, and John gets help from one of his old accomplices, Sophia, to reach out to Berada, a crime lord in Morocco. He guides John about how to reach the Elder, but even his instructions are ambiguous, proving that no one really knows the exact location. Eventually, John follows the directions given by Berada and finds himself in the Elder's lair, after he falls unconscious while looking for him in the wilderness. The Elder comes off as a calm and composed gentleman, dressed in traditional desert tribesman attire. He asks John why he wishes to live, to which the hitman replies that he wants to be alive so that he can nurture the memories of his late wife. The Elder agrees to let him live if John swears fealty to the High Table and personally serves the organization. As a sign of his loyalty, John is given a board with a sharp knife, and the assassin chops off his ring finger and submits his wedding finger before the Elder as a mark of his pledge. Following this barbaric ritual, the Elder orders John to execute Winston, the manager of the Continental Hotel, and his old friend for defying the High Table. John Wick has no choice but to accept this order, and he is soon led to a room where a new suit awaits him for the task. Later, John Wick chooses to backtrack on his promise, and refusing direct orders from the Elder makes him an even greater enemy of the High Table. After repelling the attacks on the Continental Hotel, John Wick realizes that the only way out of this system would be to eliminate the High Table altogether. He sets his eyes on the Elder, and John Wick Chapter 4 opens with an action-packed scene where John rides down the Elder's finest men and corners him in his lair. The Elder does seem relatively calm for someone who is facing certain death, and even suggests that only death can relieve John Wick from his duties to the High Table. However, this does not deter John in the slightest, and he shoots the Elder dead. In a rather underwhelming fight where the Elder goes down without any major resistance, we surely expected that John would have to work a lot harder to get to the Elder. Is the Elder elected by the High Table members? Once again, this is not something that the movies have clarified, but we can make an educated guess. We have seen that people can be nominated to the position of the High Table Council, which is a board of 12 crime lords from around the world. This council is the governing body that monitors and regulates all forms of crime, and once one of them retires or dies, the title is passed on to the next of kin. 
In the case of Santino's sister, Gianna, she was appointed by their father to lead the Camorra crime family, which would make her liable for selection to the high table. After Santino got John Wick to assassinate her, he was conferred the title, and we even see a mini celebratory event to mark his appointment in the high table council. Since the elder is technically a position above the high table council, it is a possibility that these 12 members elect the man for the seats. There is also a possibility that the elder is simply from a family that has historically led the high table. We have been given enough hints to suggest that the high table has been functioning since ancient times, and there could be one family that started it all. The head of this family leads the high table by governing the position of the elder, and it is probably passed down from one generation to another. Going by how no one really seems to know much about the elder and his whereabouts, and the fact that he seems to live in his own little kingdom guarded by his own people, we are more tilted towards this possibility. The High Table hardly seems like a democratic organization, and the Elder being a part of a historic family that started the organization is more likely than him being elected. Can the Elder override the orders of the High Table and bend the rules? Whatever the Elder says is the ultimate verdict, and it is evident from the way John Wick is given a temporary immunity after he agrees to his terms. The adjudicator, who was appointed by the High Table to deliver justice following the breaking of the rules, seemed to be aware that John had struck a deal with the Elder, and her men only attacked John after he refused to keep his promise of killing Winston. Clearly, the Elder gives the final orders, and there is no one to question his authority. However, the ancient rules of the High Table are respected by the Elder as well. He doesn't simply pardon John Wick because that would be unlawful, and only allows him respite for his personal services to the High Table. Besides, he keeps talking about the importance of the rules, and it doesn't seem like he is keen on changing any of those. We have encountered various important people who have the utmost respect for the rules of the High Table and abide by them, and the Elder seems to be no exception. Can he bend the rules if he wanted? Probably yes, because who would even question his verdict? But he simply wouldn't because of the sanctity associated with the rules. Why does the Elder hide out in the middle of nowhere? If the Elder is indeed as powerful a position as is described in the movies, then the concerns about his security are paramount. Anyone might be after his life to jeopardize the functioning of the high table, and all it would take is one rogue employee or someone with a purpose. It is probably because of such security risks that the Elder resides in a super secret location in the middle of the Moroccan desert. His settlements seem to be temporary, which probably indicates that he moves around a lot and have no fixed location at all. It is clear that even a high-ranking crime lord like Barada doesn't have an exact idea about where to find him. So the security system has been working well for the Elder. Wait until he incurs the wrath of John Wick, because that changes his fate completely. How did John Wick kill the Elder so easily? We would love to say it is because of a thick plot armor, but let us figure out a few other reasons as well. The Elder seemed to be extremely confident about his position and invincibility. The secrecy of his location and the loyalty of his men probably made him convinced that he did not need extreme levels of security. This enabled John to track him down so easily in John Wick Chapter 4, and he gets killed within a couple of minutes. It is also likely that the Bowery King had an informer among the Elder's trusted men, and he gave up the location. It has been established that the network of the Bowery King is quite extensive, and it doesn't seem impossible for a man of his caliber to track down the Elder for John John Wick. Overconfidence and underestimating the likes of John Wick and the Bowery King probably brought about his downfall. What if the Elder is just a decoy? What doesn't add up is the fact that John Wick could kill the Elder so easily. In general, the Elder hides out in the middle of the Moroccan desert, but his security system is hardly intimidating. Yes, he has the mysterious location going for him, but clearly a little extra effort could decipher the location as well, just like John Wick did. So why would the High Table leave their leader so unprotected? It might be a possibility that the Elder is simply a decoy placed by the organization to keep their actual leader safe. Yes, the Elder clearly holds a powerful position and his verdict and opinions hold a lot of importance, but he may not be the actual leader at all. It does make sense that the real leader of the most powerful organization in the world wouldn't be in the middle of some random desert, but in a highly protective environment. 
he would probably have the best assassins in the world guarding him and it does make sense for the organization to keep his identity a total secret for safekeeping. Of course, this might just be an outrageous idea but do share your views on this theory. Can anyone among the 12 council members now become the new elder? We have already discussed about the possible processes by which one becomes the elder. If the council elects someone to be the new leader, which according to us is quite unlikely, then anyone among them could become the new elder. However, if the elder just happens to be the head of the family that resides in the middle of the Moroccan desert, there is a possibility that John Wick eliminated his entire clan. There seemed to be no survivors and unless other members of the family managed to escape, they are lying dead on the sand. In that case, the position of the elder might be non-existent going ahead and the story arc in future installments of the franchise would shed more light on this matter. Do let us know in the comments below what you think of the elder and his role at the high table. Also, tell us who you think will be the next in line to become the elder for the organization. He's in death. Yeah. Not 